Hey everybody, um, I'm going to show you how to attach a Rope Runner Pro to a rope. Um, if you've just bought a Rope Runner Pro, you should be very excited because it is amazing. Um, but it does take some time to adapt to it. Um, and to get it to function appropriately on your rope. Um, but we'll get to that in a second. The first thing you're going to want to be able to do is know how to properly orient the Rope Runner Pro. For example, if, you get, if it gets all, you know, straightened out like this, you know, you got to know how it's supposed to be on the rope so you don't attach it incorrectly. Um, this is the proper way to have the device. Um, so let's get to attaching it. Um, with a rope that is um, you know, functions with it safely, compatible, with a compatible rope, um, you're going to first, I like to start at the top, some people start at the bottom, I don't really think it makes a difference, um, it's really up to you. There are three slick pins, and if you don't know what a slick pin is, I will show you in a minute. Um, there are three slick pins that must be um, partially removed in order to get the device onto the rope. So if we're starting at the top, this will be our first bollard. And all you do is you pinch these little, you know, springy things and you just manipulate it until it opens. Um, so I have it with one, you know, um, spring holding it right now. And then I'm going to put my rope in and then make sure that the rope is out of the way of the slick pen. and then close it shut. Okay. After you've done that, the next step is to open this gate here. In order to do that, you must depress this slick pin, okay, down and it may drop in immediately or you may have to twist it a little bit like that and you do not want to completely remove the um, second or third slick pin. If your rope is really big and you need to open the top one you can remove the entire slick pin to get you know better access into the bird. This is this um, top portion here of the device is called the bird. Um, so anyways, now that you have this gate open, you can see that there's a little um, engraving there that shows a rope. So it, it's showing you that the rope goes in like that. Okay, and then bring the gate back down, make sure it's aligned with the slick pin, and then push it in. Okay, so you're two-thirds of the way there. Now, last obstacle. This one's always the trickiest, I find, because it's just so loose. But... Just like with the gate, 
you need to push just the first two, you know, springs on this slick pin. And if you do it right, it may not unlock it immediately. So you'll have to like rotate it until it drops down. Um, but this one opened for me. Um, and then what this is now is this is another section where my rope needs to be. You can see again, there's a rope shown in a image right there. So it's hard to miss. So once you've done that, you want to see how I had to twist that to bring that down. Um, and then once you've done that, push it in and you are now, or at least the device is now on the rope. Okay. You have attached the device. Now what? Well, you need to try it out. You need to get, you know, your harness and start low and slow, low to the ground and slow progression. Um, like I'm talking, you want to go up maybe a few feet and then play around with it, you know, see if it when you depress the bird, if it um, descends smoothly, or uh, I had several times where um, the device was not um, calibrated properly, and I, thankfully, I was just testing it lower to the ground, and it just kept, like, it would release, and then it would just drop, like, rope would just whip right through it. There was no friction anymore. So you got to really make sure because it, it'll seem like it's all right. But then when you actually get to it, it'll either be the bird here will be either too, it'll be too much of a challenge to depress it. And you'll be worried that if you do, it'll just like release. Um, or it'll be really easy to depress. And, you know, it'll just kind of like, I don't know, it just, it, it doesn't feel right is the, is what I'm getting at. So you want to, how do you do that? Well, there is a section right here, um, with your rope runner pro, as you probably noticed, it came with an Allen wrench, um, you know, a 90 degree, uh, wrench. And that's so you can, open um, by just simply loosening right here and right here. And what that's doing is it's moving this bollard um, up between, you know, it'll give you one through five here, but you just, you just have to play around with it. Um, it took me several days before I got mine calibrated and now I'm so afraid to touch the settings um, because I don't want to lose it. Um, but I mean, other than being kind of a pain to calibrate, it's absolutely worth it in the end. Um, this device is just second to none. Um, I mean, look at the slack tending. It's insane. Um, <clears throat> So yeah, um, and don't forget that you're going to need a chest ascender and invest in some quality um, accessory carabiners because those cheap ones are just going to break and they might break when you really don't want them to. Uh, these are the DMM XSRE um, carabiners and they've got a screw gate. They're like, I mean, I think they're, I mean, they're like $15 or $17 each, which sounds like a lot 
and it kind of is, but these things are rated for up to four kilonewton, and they look amazing, and they function beautifully. Plus, they're oval, um, which is just ideal. Um, yeah. So, if you have any questions about your Rope Runner Pro, feel free to post them in the comments section. This was just kind of a spur of the moment video that I felt like making. Um, so, you could probably tell it was a little disorganized, but nevertheless, um, hopefully I spread some edumacation. Oh, one last thing. If you are right-handed like me, when you get this device, you're going to be baffled by how this slick pin sticks out right where you need to, you know, put your hand to descend. So this here bothered me like crazy. So what I did is I just removed it. And just put it in. I just put it in the opposite direction. And that's the only slick pin on this device that you can change the orientation of. But, um, but look, now there's nothing. Nothing in my way. In fact, it kind of helps to have it on the other side because it's right in between my fingers. So, all right, yeah, um, happy holidays, everyone.